there are clips of us assembling the Frere framework coming up, but uh, I'm not exactly the best cameraman, so they're not exactly all they're not all in um, frame all the time. So, but yeah, you'll get the general idea. The carpentry isn't great. This I'm a beginner at this as well. Um, and using that saw is annoying, which is why I'd like to get a battery-powered miter saw. Um, at least then I'll be able to make uh, solid clean cuts. Hey guys, this is the phase two of the trommel done. What we've got is a detachable base, the frame for the trommel and the trommel itself. Uh, there's further improvements been made on this. It's just made out of basically two by fours and some scrap wood we found for the legs. And the wheels are slightly out of alignment, but uh, we're gonna engineer them a bit better, put an angle on them so they'll fit better. I've got uh, a 10 centimeter lip basically allowing the rocks to fall over the edge and go into a wheelbarrow that will fit on the end. You've got six 16 millimeter ca uh, casters fitting into the rim. Due to the shape of the rim though we're going to have to angle them a little bit just to make them roll a bit better. We've taken most of the zip ties out apart from the ones sealing the mesh. Uh, that will be replaced with a bar. Um, these bolts here uh, secure the mesh to the frame. This will be replaced with a bit of an aluminum sheathing. All right, the idea eventually is what we're gonna do is we're gonna have the sheeting going attached to the middle and the mesh attached to either side of the sheeting. So uh, it creates a much more uniform um, barrel, just strengthen the barrel a bit more. I'm going to put the casters onto hopefully a sliding uh, plate to allow for better alignments. Uh, the frame may ultimately get replaced with some uh, cargo racking which should be quite light. And we're going to put a frame on the top to mount the motor on and potentially a hand turned um, handle that will spin all three at once to make sure it spins evenly there'll be two at least two brackets on the inside to uh, make sure the uh, structure re remains stable as well but this works for the time being the length of it it is a bit long but it'll ensure that all the soil is taken out but on the whole it works very well this even though the mesh is only uh, uh, 19g which is gauge 19 it holds the weight so I'm just going to put any big rocks through it. 
So obviously as you're shoveling the stones, if you're at the soil, if you see any big stones, you just take them out, but it can handle like ping pong sized balls, uh, stones quite easily. So that is phase two of the trommel. Uh, we're gonna get to work on phase three when we get some more wood. And then we're gonna maybe engineer the other parts we need. Yeah, here we have the little pooch. It's too hot for him. He's just having a bit of a, a rest there. Yeah, a bit pooped out because of the heat. And we threw the ball from earlier as well. Okay, so we've got the trouble dug in. We've dug out a trench to start off with, and what we're planning to do is move the trommel up as we fill it along and we'll see how much we get out of the ground. Right, as you can see, the soil's been sifted now to a super fine grain. Ideally, you want to be sifting it through the trommel when it's really dry to, in order to break up most little parts. We found in the eject there's still clumps where it's been damp. So ideally, you want to be sifting any soil when it's really dry after a good hot spell. Um, also, you don't want to be sifting uh, clumps of sod when uh, grass or flowers or anything are at seed so you need to do it before it's seeding or after it's seeding. This is one way of sifting it is actually in the trench and now I'm going to show you another way um, of putting it across the trench um, as a way of sifting the soil. Okay now this is the other way of doing the trommel. It goes across the bed the diameter between the at uh, the length between the legs read, reads 145 centimeters so I mean and good bed size would be 1.2 meters um, and this will basically allow you to move it up the bed as you go along whereas if it was in the trench like it was there as you move it up you'd have to make space for the legs to make sure it's level not to mention the wheelbarrow uh, might get stuck in this really fine soil so we're going to try it this way. The only problems with this is obviously because your soil's down there, you've got to lift the soil out and put it back through. Um, but we'll see how it goes um, and see how it works out. Say hello to the chicken. We got this finished this afternoon. It took about six hours all together to dig it out, uh, sift it and put it all back together. As you can see the soil is super fine. Really good uh, medium for growing um, root vegetables like potatoes. We're putting beetroot in. We're also going to be putting some corn in as well. As you can see the soil itself, <coughs> get really close super fine hardly any stones in it whatsoever that's our carrots going bunkers it's like a forest and this lot here is everything that we filtered out with the troll for that little bit of land there is but until next time uh, see you later I hope you enjoyed it uh, there'll be another video coming up soon because I am planning on building a nice uh, duck nesting house to stop the birds from nicking our duck eggs. But until then, uh, have a good one.